One of the many benefits of owning the Tidler Pro and Filters suites from New Blue Effects is the ability to add filters to different elements of your titles. Today, we'll be combining a handful of filters with various elements of a custom title to create a unique look that would take hours to recreate in a third-party program. First, let's see what the finished product looks like. Now let's build that title from scratch from within the Titler Pro 5 interface. Start by adding a rectangle and then clicking and dragging the handles to blow it up past the edges of the screen. This is going to be the smoke in our background, so let's set it to the appropriate texture from inside the style settings. The first filter we'll be using will be the tint filter, which we're going to use to change the color of the smoke. Select Effects from the drop-down in your library, open the Filters folder, and navigate to Tint. Like every effect in Titler Pro 5, you can preview Tint's various preset settings by holding your mouse cursor over their names. The Dusk preset gets us pretty close, so we're going to apply it by double-clicking, but the color still needs to be changed. Select the appropriate color inside the Effects tab, and adjust the Tint saturation, brightness, film gamma, and blend options until you're satisfied with your results. Next, we want to add some film grain to give it that creepy, grungy look, so we'll go back to our filters, open film grain, and double-click chemical crunch. We'll also add some light leaks, which do a really good job of giving the illusion that there's something going on behind the camera, and this isn't just some text floating in space, which of course it is, but that's not what we're going for. The last step for our background smoke is to add the vignette preset, add character, to, you guessed it, add some character. Now for the text. We'll type the word paranormal and use the transform controls to set it just a little off kilter. We'll texture the text using the same process as when we retextured the background image, give it a little bit of extrusion and shininess to give it some 3D properties, enable environment mapping, which gives our texture a reflected look, and select the third bevel style, which is really just a preference. Now it's time to add some new blue filters to our text. Dream Glow gives it a blurry, ethereal property, and Film Camera imitates the shaky look of a hand-cranked camera, giving our text an unstable feeling, which is perfect for what we're going for. The third and final element to this title is going to be some loose particles to really sell the illusion that this text exists in a real environment with real lighting. We'll use the same process as before, adding a rectangle and giving it an image, but this time we're going to use the Effects tab to set its blending mode to Additive, and lowering its opacity in the Style tab. The last step is to add some animations to each element. For the text, we want it to fly in from behind the camera, so we'll open the Fly Past folder, and after previewing a few of the various preset settings, it looks like Drop Letters is going to be perfect. We want our particles to have a bit of movement, so let's select Pan and go with the Fast Side preset, which doesn't look like much on its own, but when you hide the other elements, you can see a very slight movement to the particles that give them a very floaty look. And finally, we want to give our smoke a slight turn, which we could accomplish by applying a turn animation and reducing its potency, but I'd like a little more precision than that, so we're going to use keyframes. Under the Global tab, check the box to turn on keyframing, which will add our first keyframe to the timeline, represented by a small circle under Rectangle 1. Now we want to scroll to the end of the timeline, click the plus button to add a second keyframe, and drag the Y rotation to the right just a little bit. This will add the smallest bit of rotation to our smoke, preventing it from looking like a static image floating in space. For the finishing touches, Let's drag the start portion of the elastic timeline past the text fly-in animation. This will ensure the title's intro always plays, regardless of its duration in your editing program, and then save our project, close Titler Pro, and then drag it onto our editing program's timeline. A little bit of sounds and letterboxing, and we've got a title that's ready to go. 
Applying new blue filters to your Titler Pro titles allows you to create exceptionally high quality titles in a fraction of the time. To learn more, visit newbluefx.com today.